MGF Gripshaw is a range of lightweight, manhandleable GRP shoring products for use in shallow trenches and is therefore ideal when either hand digging or using a mini excavator. All the products can be installed and extracted by hand from a position of safety outside the trench and do not require lifting or handling by an excavator. This animation focuses on the 0.5 meter vertishaw, commonly referred to as a baby shore. Each baby shore consists of two 500 mm high rails, three pins and R clips, and one single acting strut. With Type A struts, the full system weighs less than 10 kilograms, making it the UK's smallest and lightest hydraulically operated shoring product on the market. Baby shore can be used in shallow excavations up to two meters deep, and is ideally suited for excavations that are heavily congested with services or obstructions which preclude the use of larger traditional shoring systems. It can also be used to provide additional shoring support to battered ends of trenches, avoiding the need for unsafe struts. Setting out of baby shore must be done in strict accordance with the trench jack spacing rules in the tech file. The system can be provided with or without GRP packing boards, which can be placed behind pumped out baby shore units by protection from loose material in the trench walls. The hydraulic struts are available in two sizes and extensions can be added to support a range of trench widths from 570mm to 2000mm. Prior to delivery, prepare a safe working area local to the excavation for assembly of the system. As the system is collapsible and small in size, the system can easily be transported in small commercial vehicles. Unload the baby shore and lay one of the rails on timber skids with the toes of the channels facing skyward. Ensure any air is removed from the hydraulic cylinders by opening the quick release valve and compressing the rams. A single hydraulic strut should be placed inside the channel with the male hydraulic coupling facing the top of the rail with the handling hole. The system is very simple to assemble by means of pins and R clips. The end of the strut with the hose connector is secured with a single pin through the upper hole. Place a second rail on top of the hydraulic strut such that the top of each rail is flush. The opposite end of the strut is pinned through both bottom holes. The system is designed to scissor to aid installation. Please take care when assembling and carrying assembled units that the strut is supported from falling over as this could potentially trap the operative's fingers. Carry the unit over to the trench and position the rails flush with the edge with the handling hole and the rail facing away from the trench. Connect the bucket pump to the hydraulic strut via the supplied hose, ensuring that the hose and the bucket pump do not obstruct the installation. The hose fitting will connect to the quick release valve on the strut. Prior to excavating, locate any services to prevent damage. Baby shore is only suitable for trenches whose vertical sides are self-supporting in the short term, at minimum long enough for the system to be safely deployed. Baby shore is designed to be installed in a progressive dig and support sequence whereby excavating takes place gradually, installing units as the trench gets deeper, ensuring that services are supported as necessary. The initial dig depth should be no deeper than 1000 mm, normally stopping at the depth required for the first layer of units. It is recommended to batter the ends of the trench whenever possible. Baby Shore is incredibly lightweight and it is therefore ideal for installing by hand using slings. MGF can supply 1 ton rated endless round slings which simply loop through each handling hole. Feed the installation slings through the upper holes in the rails and back through the loop at the ends of the sling and pull tight. A single operative is capable of installing the baby shore system. However, for larger struts, two operatives may be required to comfortably install the units with full control. Ensure the operative has a stable footing and that the slings can be easily released if a secure footing is lost. Launch the baby shore into the excavation holding onto both slings. When at the required depth, hold the system steady whilst the second operative pumps out the struts using the MGF supplied bucket pump. To save time, the strut could be partially pumped out before launching into the trench. The valve on the single acting bucket pump is one way and should remain in the forward position to pump out and lock in the pressure within the hydraulic strut. 
make subtle adjustments to the final position of the installed unit to ensure that the strut is horizontal and the rails are vertical and flush with the trench wall. The system can be installed horizontally if required around services. However, where possible, rails should be installed vertically. Rails should be in continuous contact with the trench wall. It is critical that any voids directly behind the hydraulic struts are packed out with timber or similar strength material to ensure that the ground is suitably preloaded. The unit should be pressurised between 400 and 750 psi, depending on ground conditions which are listed in the tech file. The pressure gauge must hold a pressure and not indicate any loss in pressure. Struts are fitted with a safety bleed off valve to prevent overextension. If hydraulic fluid is visible, then the strut is too short for the trench. The solution is either a longer hydraulic strut or the width of the trench needs reducing. Hydraulic fluid is water soluble and biodegradable. Remove the hydraulic hose by prying off with the release tool to lock in the pressure. Retrieve the hose, ensuring that the female connector does not fall to the ground as grit and dirt can damage the mechanism. Turn the valve and the bucket pump away from the pressure gauge to depressurize the pump. If excavating through a hard standing, such as a road surface, pumped out units must bear on the soil beneath. If required, extra units should be used to prop the hard surface layer. It is possible to dig 1,000mm below a pressurised strut in the short term to aid with installation and extraction. Continue to dig and install layers of shoring as required based on the trench jacking spacing rules or governed by the design documents. When digging to final depth, ensure the gap underneath the lowest pressurised strut is no greater than 600mm. The unique benefit of Baby Shore is that the units can be installed in and around heavily congested trenches, so long as the matrix of pressurised struts does not break the rules set out by the Trench Jack Theory Checklist. Generally, trench depths up to 1.2 metres only require one layer of Baby Shore units, making them very efficient. Trench depth 1.2 to 2 metres generally require two layers of units. Inspect the full installation ensuring that there is no evidence of instability along the unsupported faces and edges. It is now safe to enter the excavation. Access the excavation via a ladder placed between pressurised struts. When inside the trench, operatives should continually monitor the walls for change of conditions such as water seepage, excessive movements or cracks. Baby shore units are removed in a continuous backfill and lifting sequence ensuring that no operators enter the trench unless they are within a zone protected by fully pumped out struts. Backfill as close as practicable to the underside of the system and depressurize the hydraulic strut using an MGF release tool. Prise the rails away from the face of the trench to prevent damage when extracting. Remove the units and continue backfilling as soon as practicable, repeating the process if further units are in place. Carry the units to a safe area for disassembly.